Hi, I'm Xiao Jin. Welcome to my presentation on social technical opportunities for large age gap siblings. Starting from my own story, this photo is taken on my first day when I came to the university. At that time, I was 80 years old and my younger brother was only six years old. After that day, I started my own life in Shandong University at Jinan, which is a city about 300 miles away from my hometown. So during the next 10 years we live separately, we communicate with each other through the video call. But it's still not easy to maintain a close relationship. I kept missing so many precious moments that he grew up, even I tried to get in touch with him regularly. In fact, not only me, my parents also tried to make my brother and me get in touch with each other, like hand the phone to my brother. But somehow we still kind of have nothing to talk about. In many times, after one or two minutes small talk, my brother transfers the phone back to my parents. That is really frustrating because there are many technologies and tools have made to make it easier for us to stay connected. But why we still cannot feel we are close to each other? That question actually drove me to this research. Why large age gap sibling relationships are particularly important and difficult to support? To answer this question, we first need to understand why sibling relationships are critically important. There are a number of reasons about the importance of siblings. First, sibling relationships are an important aspect of child development. Although we tend to focus more on parents' relationship, prior work indicated that the sibling relationship also significantly affects how children develop. Second, the relationship with sibling is of extremely long duration. Contact with sibling is maintained by almost all adults throughout their life. Third, siblings' relationships are progressive relationships. Most of us have brothers and sisters. A case study shows that estimated 80 to 90 percent of individuals grew up with a sibling. Then, what makes it different from other types of connections? Unlike parents or primary caregivers generally act as a secure base, siblings are sought to fulfill the social needs of children and are more often sought out for fun and playful interaction rather than support and comfort. Also, it tends to be more equal than family members of other generations. It is also different from the roles of peers because of the more co-constructed experience and contact frequency. There is an important role of shared experience in the siblings' learning and communication. Okay, here comes to our key question. What does age differences mean in sibling relationship? I know there are lots of older siblings and brothers might have similar problem with me, with maturity, given the number of life changes that occur, for example, like me going to the university. When we have a totally different life circle and timetable, this distancing is not surprising. For children, using audio or video calls is also hard to engage them to maintain a long distance relationship. So how can we use technology to bridge this gap? The good news is that we currently have more options to connect with remote families. I'm not going to spend more time to talk about all these existing tools and some of them you may already be very familiar with. But here's the catch. Very few of these tools have been specifically designed with siblings in mind. That's where my research comes in. What are the unique needs and challenges of communication faced by large age gap siblings? What kind of facilitation occurs or is missing from long distance large gap sibling communication? In order to answer research questions, we recruited nine families with large age gap siblings from China, where the younger sibling is a child, where the other sibling is more than five years older than the younger sibling. We did two weeks diaries for older sibling and conducted semi-structured interview for older sibling, younger sibling, and their parents. We used data-driven semantic method to analyze this our data. What we found was that the communication between siblings was generally elevated, and 96% of communication was initiated by the older sibling. But here's the interesting part. Except for one family, parents participated in every conversation between the siblings. For our first research question, we found that large age gap sibling relationship consists of an older to younger companionship and care, where older siblings also take on a pseudo-parent's role to the younger sibling. 
Just as our participant said, the ancient Chinese had a saying going like this, the older sibling is like a father. For the second research in understanding different stakeholders' facilitation practice and challenges, we identify the major themes including the roles of older siblings and parents in facilitation sibling relationship. Older siblings take many facilitation responsibilities, including initiating communication, engaging younger siblings, and providing technical support. Parents also help enrich siblings' communication and provide logistical facilitations. Here are the facilitation challenges. First, adult-led rather than child-led conversation. As mentioned before, older siblings always initiate the communication and engage the younger sibling. That is partly because younger siblings usually don't have the device ownership. They need to use the device under the supervision from their parents. But more importantly, like a child said in our study, it's embarrassing to see a meme or popular star that my sister didn't know. The older sibling is willing to initiate the topic, which sounds more interesting for children, but the lack of shared interest makes them less to see. Here shows the necessity of encouraging younger siblings to initiate the communication spontaneously and encourage them to pop up their own topic. Second challenge, conflicting values between parents and older siblings. In general, Chinese parents will place great importance on their children's education, who need to start hard from an early age. In this context, Parents tend to encourage instrumental communication, particularly about providing updated insights on academics and educational technologies. While older siblings want to prioritize relational elements, prefer the fun and playful interactions. As one parent said in our study, I feel older siblings is greatly influenced by Western education different from traditional Chinese cultures. In terms of education, I have different ideas from older siblings. She doesn't want her older brother to take out school classes, but I think it is important to learn more in today's society. This was reflected in the conflict of facilitation values between siblings and parents in our findings. To address these challenges, we identify three design opportunities for technology to better support the needs and practice of different stakeholders in remote sibling communication. First, technology can support co-present involvement for different stakeholders' requirements and needs in remote settings. Second, a wide age gap between siblings offer unique challenges to accommodate separate developmental needs, interests, living conditions, and life routines. So designers should consider the asymmetric needs and scaffold child-led conversation under asymmetric relationship expectations. Lastly, technology can help negotiate values conflicts between older siblings and parents, which could affect siblings' communication and their relationships. That's all my presentation. Thanks for your time.